congratulations congratulations to ronke Soya. if you've been on this channel on this platform i brought you a story of how ronke Soya left a former partner former husband that she had a child for and came back to pasuma alabi a lot of people looked at it and they're like well maybe there is something or are we going to say lesser evil you know how it is the same situation of nigeria where people keep repeating oh this administration is better than the other administration after they have complained about that administration because people are hopeful so it's the same thing um you know life human beings are always like this you know how it is um after you've left that your boyfriend husband or partner fiance and you move into this new guy that seems to have everything ready for you and after six months or three months or even a year of that relationship you regret and you say to yourself in fact that's my previous relationship the guy that i was complaining about the lady that i was complaining about is even better better than this one that i've gotten into that is because human beings our needs can never be met and we are always hopeful believing that it is going to be better welcome once again to this channel if you're just coming across it smash on the subscription button very important smash on it if you're a returning subscriber i say thanks for returning if you've been here all the way with us i say god bless and do not forget very important to like and share this video this helps us a lot when you like when you share now let us let us, let us look at the whole story from the beginning Ronke Odunsoya, she is a plus-size woman with curves. In fact, her nickname is Ididowo. That's what they call her. And one would wonder, how come these people are not settling down and having it good? That is because many of them came into the industry, like any other person, to hustle, to be better. And their industry comes with a lot of, you know, terrible, terrible, terrible risk. What is this risk? Appearance. It comes with a lot of sacrifices. They have to appear as if they are great they have to appear as if they are shining even when they do not have it well many of them target guys who live in diaspora abroad why so that they can have their children abroad and also have access to europe america canada you know all of these countries these beautiful countries that is what most of them do if you check you realize that 70 percent of actresses actors you will find them having wanting to do with someone abroad it is like a meal ticket in quotes let us say destiny ticket let us say status ticket let us just put it as status ticket that is it for them it doesn't matter although to some it does if the guy has cash as long as the guy is already sorted out there the guy already has citizenship or something that they can at least tap from they will jump but you know the previous man that Ron Keodusoya was with dragged her on social media, all over social media, alleging that Ron Keodusoya came for his money. He needs to find out if that child, the daughter that they both have, belongs to him, and all of that. And the reason why some men do these things one, insecurity, two, that they have seen that there are certain characteristics, traits they've seen. Even if they don't have, um, no, they didn't catch you red and they, they have seen that there is a possibility of you doing certain things. They, they have seen it that you are slippery or something like that. And, you know, any of these things, who knows? Well, eventually they did the DNA. And um, Odusoya, I mean, Ronke, will not be so stupid at her age. She's not young to get pregnant for another man and bring it to another man. That would be the most stupid thing that she would ever do as a Yoruba woman. Anyway, eventually she came back to the man that she felt maybe there is something now one would have wondered why didn't both of them settle down all of this why well what we heard is that um, pasuma's family did not want him to settle with ronke i do not know why probably because she's an actress of course both of them are entertainers they need to understand this both of them are entertainers and there are risk attached to dating entertainers or being around entertainers these are luminous people these are people that are popular ronke odusoya does yoruba movie mr pasuma alabi is into yoruba fuji music so they all have their fans they all have people who are interested in them that's the truth there are women who want to lay with 
Pasuma. And there are men who want to also lay with Ronke Odusoya. They want to check, what is it? What is this Ididowo? Is there something inside of this thing? They want to find out. So, this is just normal. She even said it when she was interviewed. They asked her, you and Pasuma, what happened? She said, well, although, you know, women can be very tricky in case they are in a relationship or they are... Um, there's there are suitors out there or people are ready to spend money on them. She just kind of uh, packaged the talk and said, you know, because I am an actress, I am popular, I'm famous, and he's also popular and famous, maybe that is why it didn't work. Well, after all said and done, because their relationship is tumultuous with so much, you know, too much angry waves all over their relationship. I mean, previous man that she had a child with. Well, she decided to bow out like enough is enough. And that is what most of them do. Many of them. You know why? These men, they know that this lady will not come to me if there is nothing. And of course, you yourself going to meet an actress, you know that there is something. Once you take pictures, it will go viral. So, at the end of the day, people are saying, there is a reason for marriage. Marriage is not just marriage. People get into a relationship at times. I'm not saying every time. It's always for something. People that say, no, I just love him. What is it that you love? Why don't you just love everybody? There is something that you saw. It could be money. It could be fame. It could be status. It could be anything. Anything. That's it. People just choose one way or the other who they want to be around with. Well, she decided to come back to Pasuma. And, you know, people are saying congratulations to them that ah, this their secret wedding eventually ended up in... You know, another child again. We all know that Pasuma had had, you know, she had, he, he had um, his own thing back then. In fact, Pasuma already has a child that is married and, you know, we can as well say Pasuma is a grandfather. But nevertheless, at times people start early, some people start late. All the same, the most important is to keep body and soul together. Well, as you know, such, you know, story will not always come out like viral this, I mean, like Ron care with Pasuma and what has just happened. But you know that we have a way of getting this information. Once this drops on our table, once this file drops, we will definitely bring it out to you guys. And that is what we are doing here. And, you know, everyone is saying congratulations. Good, good, good. Congratulations is a good one. You know, children are good things, particularly if both parents or one of them can take care of that child. Very important. Very, very important. And then Pasuma, no matter what. Can always take care of the child. Ronke can always take care of the child. She has also in her life. She has acted in a lot of movies. And and she is not bad herself. I mean, come on. It's not as if, okay, we know that age has, you know. And she's not that slim, slim um, lady. Not to say that women who are plus side or extra here and there are not beautiful as they are. Of course they are. Uh, but most of the times, you know, age, age, very important on the side of women. Once women begin to cross that 30, you know, even 28, they begin to show signs of a little bit tiredness. You know, their flesh, their, their everything begins to appear like, you know, wine that is aging. You know what I mean? Not in a derogatory way, not in a bad man, bad way. But you know what I'm saying? As you all know, and maybe you don't know, men are seen only, appreciated only, accepted only for what they can provide in a relationship. I'm not saying there are no women who take care of men too. There are men that gain from women financially and they take everything from the woman. I know of that. But in general, men are seen as providers in relationship. Men are seen as providers in family. As a family, as a unit, you have to pay school fees, you have to pay for this, you have to pay. That is what men are seen. If you're in a marriage and your husband or your partner cannot provide, all of a sudden the woman starts to talk and be calm and talk and see the man as if he's nobody. He begins to look less on you. This is the psychology. And on the other hand, if a woman in that home cannot assist or provide, the man will not go around telling his friends, my wife does not work, my wife can't. That's why life is the way it is. Men are seen as providers. That's why men need to be appreciated. Not just women alone. I'm just talking about the nine months, which I am not saying is easy. Everyone has to do his own quota. Do your own as you can do, you know, as it is. So the reason I'm saying this is because... You know, a lot of people might just see this as a gist, but we need to learn and pick something from it. That's just what 
um, this is all about. We need to pick lessons right, left, and center from it to appreciate men also for their also for their time, for their effort as people, for what they've done, and not just to see men as providers only. It is the truth. If a man cannot pay school fees, pay for food, pay for this, all of a sudden, it's as if he's a useless person. But if a woman cannot give birth to a child, let's assume, let us assume, uh -huh, if a woman cannot give birth to a child, she is hoping that someone, she can lean on the person's shoulder, of course, pressure from family, she's going to face all of that. So women see themselves only as, I need to give birth, I need to take care of the children, and that is all. Well, I think it can be a collective effort between two people, um, and I'm not saying men should become lazy, neither am I saying women too should be lazy. Well, congratulations once again to um, Ronke Odusoya for this one. Um, what else can we say? Both of them are capable of taking care of that child. Uh -huh. Both of them are capable of that. And we, we say congratulations to Pasuma. Maybe Pasuma will eventually relax because he's not younger. He's not getting younger anymore. That's the truth. All of those energy, you will think of it in your head that you have it, but your body cannot respond to that energy that your mind is kind of deceiving you with. That's the truth. Pasuma is not getting younger anymore. Everyone is getting older. And, you know, time is telling on everyone. It's time for people to finally find that person. That person that you will live your old age with. That person that you will be car quarrel with that person that you will talk you know, go on vacation go go places visit places go to parties with when you are already getting to the end and every man needs to think of this every woman needs to think of this every man particularly men although it's all, almost the same now they have to start thinking of this at this time now it's good to find that person that you are going to die with i mean grow hold with that's what i mean not really die die but grow hold with at the end of the day because most of the times, efforts are put on the children and eventually, you know what it is. These children will grow, they will leave. Who will you remain with? What are your thoughts about this one? Let us meet at the comment section. Do not forget to like and share this video. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.